I get a lot of questions on where this lock speed bushing goes. So from the factory, we ship the, the actuator fully extended from the factory. So with these nozzles wrapped right up in, we set that in there so this can rotate backwards in this slot. A lot of guys want to drill them in here, but that will not let that rotate. So you want it in here because that's the furthest position those tubes are ever going to move. Mount-on brackets are all pretty similar, a little different on different models. Most of them bolt on to either the top or the bottom. Just make sure all hardware and the rollers are loose so that the fore and aft uh, roll. And you basically want between two and five inches between these flip over reels. The lock sleeve assembly here comes out of the factory preset like this. I get a lot of guys that have this clamp over top of the steel, which lets this whole thing rotate. It needs to be clamped on this rubber elbow. The length of the flex hose here should be kept good and tight because this stuff will stretch a lot. So you don't want it. You can slide it on a little bit further or keep it cut just so it'll never kink. So it can still have some fore and aft travel, but once the air hits it, it'll put it up like that. Belt tension on these fans, we're basically looking for a quarter width in here or as long as you can see an air gap in here. From the factory we set them a little a little wider just for uh, belt wear. To do a bearing swap or a belt swap, you want to remove this tensioner, this tensioner, and then you'll be able to pull these pillow blocks, these, there'll be eight bolts. You can slide this one back, it'll drop out, and then you can get out your bearings and everything. And this one here, you'll be able to undo the eight bolts and it slides straight back. And then r, &R the belt and just reverse assembly. Uh, common service parts, uh, pulling the PTO apart and greasing it over 50 hours. Our pillow block bearings, there's four of them on there. They're 50 hours. And keep an eye on your belt tension. You always wanna see an air gap in there. Uh, belt tension's easy, spins over nice. Uh, going in rotary screen should spin freely. And the fan, the impeller in there, if you're ever looking in there for wear, it'll start to cup on the inside. Once it gets over three quarters of the way through, you should be replacing that fan. End of season, it's always good to take this cap off and just blow all the debris and soybean dust out. So it's just these uh, 7 16 nuts here, pull them off and just run the system stuff will come out. When connecting the combine to the header, you have the electrical four pack connector here. So the red and the black wire, they're gonna control your air volume on your fan and your green and white wire is gonna turn your manifold tilt to adjust your nozzles up and down. For more information and tips on servicing your S3 AWS Airbar, visit awsairbar.com today.